What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. I just wanted to pop on super quick and do an intro and show my face. If you are new to my channel, I want to just thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a very healthy and also very cheap options of snacks that you can take on the go. Um, if you are new, I'm just trying to definitely slim down and I've been on a pretty long weight loss journey and last week I was really like going through my pantry and my fridge and cracking down on all of the unhealthy stuff that I have in the house. Just had to like get it all out there and I was really inspired to kind of do a mason jar snack type of video. Um, I think everything looks cuter in mason jars and I'm always seeing lots of ideas for stuff like this on Pinterest so this is also another big request that I get from you guys on Snapchat. I'm always getting questions on what I eat for meals or for snacks so I thought I would just kind of walk you guys through all of these. Um, also I'm doing a collab on this video with Healthy Hints which I'm super excited for because anything that I can kind of do to help gain some recognition for a channel that I know truly deserves it will just like make me feel so happy and like accomplished. I know lots of other people have teamed up with me and like done collabs as I've done YouTube and I love doing them so they're just another channel who does food videos and snack videos um, and they actually have amazing editing like the type of editing that I strive to have we know I'm like working on mine, but the way that they actually film how to make the meals and the snacks from different angles, it looks very much like Instagram when you're scrolling through the stories and the camera is positioned on top and you can see like close-ups of all the food and it walks you step by step through how to make meals and snacks and their channel I think is just going to blow up and deserves so many more subscribers. So be sure to head over there after this video and check out some of their food videos if you need more inspiration or more advice on what to eat on a healthy living journey. I'll put their channel down below. Hello, definitely tell you, tell you, what am I saying, tell them, tell them that your girl sent you over there. Um, but I know that you guys love these type of videos because I always get them requested a lot. So I'm positive that you're going to love their channel. So be sure to show the love and check it out. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below to my channel. And let's just go ahead and get into these healthy snacks. So these are the snacks right here that we're going to be making today, you guys. Again, they're all just with ingredients that are super affordable. You can find at the dollar store or your local grocery store. Um, and I just think they look so cute in a mason jar. Hello. I got a lot of these ideas from Pinterest. Um, so for the first one here, we're just going to basically make some vegetables with some hummus. Personally, this is just the brand that I like. It's by Sabra. And I chose to do carrots and celery. But you guys can literally do anything, any type of vegetables or even fruit that you like. Um, you don't even have to use hummus. Um, like I said, if you just type in on Pinterest, like veggie mix or veggie dip, you can go with whatever you like. Uh, personally, lately, I've just been loving hummus, so I just threw some of it into the bottom of the mason jar, and then I'm literally just adding the uh, vegetables right in. And also, this one is kind of messy, and you don't want these to get soggy, so I definitely recommend eating this one on the same day, maybe packing it in the morning if you're like going out that day or going on a trip or to the beach or something, um, just because you don't want everything to get all gross, but... I just think everything looks cuter in a mason jar. It'd be cute to like take pics for Instagram or whatever, and it's like the perfect size. So this next one here, I'm making overnight oats, which you can eat the same day or overnight. You're just gonna take one cup of old-fashioned oats, and you're gonna wanna spill them everywhere. Hello, just like me. Literally, I made such a mess in this video. Like, excuse me, so sorry. And then I'm just taking almost a cup of almond milk. Um, you guys can use whole milk or cashew milk, whatever it is that you like. You're going to fill it up so it almost covers the oats and then any type of seasoning that you like. I personally just like the way that uh, cinnamon tastes. It gives it kind of like a chocolatey cinnamon flavor. And then I was just adding a bunch of frozen berries. You can either use frozen or fresh fruit, whatever you like. Again, your girl is going to make a huge mess right here because literally this video, like having my groceries out on the counter and making a mess of everything, I'm so sorry that this does not look super professional. But anyways, you're just going to seal up the jar, leave it in the fridge. Um, and overnight your oats are ready to go. So here I'm making a protein shake you can take on the go. I'm using this level one chocolate peanut butter cup protein, which is amazing. I've been using it for a year and a half. Um, it tastes so good. I will put the website down below if you guys need a new protein. I just love it. I also added one cup of almond milk. And I'm going to take two spoonfuls of protein because I lost the original scooper that it came with. So I just took a spoon and I'm using like two um, spoonfuls. And then I'm just going to be adding some cinnamon and a banana and some ice. And then you just leave this in the fridge. You can take it out anytime and just make your protein shake. You can shake it all up or you can just literally put it in like a neutral bullet or a little blender and you're good to go. 
I'm telling you guys, this protein, the chocolate peanut butter cup, makes your shake just taste like a chocolate smoothie with like bananas. It's so bomb. They also just came out with a cinnamon crunch flavor, which is great. Um, I'll put that website down below. You guys always get free shipping on any type of first form products, so I'll leave all the information for that down below for you guys. And then next here, I'm doing a super easy mason jar of fruit. I literally just cut up whatever I had in the fridge. Whatever you guys have on hand will do. I'm using apples and strawberries in this one. And then I also had some blackberries and some bananas in the fridge. So after the video, I made a few more mason jars for the week. Um, and I ended up putting those in there. So literally whatever you have, it's just nice to have fruit on the go. So when you're out, you don't have to go to the vending machine or get chips or swing through McDonald's. Just being prepared is always like the best, which is what I found. So for this next one, I'm just going to make this for my son. It's going to be some smoked turkey. Um, Christian is not really vegan. He's I'm doing my best on it, like I've been telling you guys, but I've been slipping up a little bit. I'm just not extremely strict on it, but Christian does still eat turkey. So I'm just rolling up a few pieces of turkey here for him, and then I'm going to add in some tomato and some avocado. So you're basically doing like a little mini sandwich inside the jar, but without the bread or without like a pita or something. Um, without the bread, it makes it feel like more of a snack, and it's super healthy. If you're calorie counting or something, it's going to be super low on calories. Um, and then, so I'm just putting the tomatoes with the turkey. I'm also adding in half an avocado. I kind of just smudge that whole thing into the jar, as you can see here. I don't like to mash it up until the day that I'm going to eat it or that Christian's going to eat it because I don't want it to get soggy. So it fits perfectly in there. Just store this in the fridge. This one here will be good for like three to four days. Again, it just looks really cute in the jar and like you're good to go. Um, and then this next one here, I'm just doing a ton of veggies. So again, whatever you have on hand. In the fridge, I had a bunch of these little sweet jalapeno peppers. And then I had zucchini, which I personally love. So I'm just cutting everything up. It just looks really colorful in the jar. And again, you just keep everything in the fridge. So whenever you leave the house at any point, even if you're running late, you have a healthy snack on the go and like you're literally good to go. Um, I also did one more that I forgot to film or I lost the clip or I literally am not positive because I thought I filmed it, but I put some healthy salsa at the bottom of a mason jar and then I added in some whole wheat chips. So chips and salsa are also a really good snack as well. Um, and yeah, this was the last one that I made here. Again, super colorful, super healthy. Um, and I didn't make these just for the video. Me and Christian actually ate these all week. So yeah, I loved making this video because I was going to make little snacks for us to eat healthy for the week anyways. You guys know I love doing meal prep and just being prepared. So hopefully you guys can try these out at home as well. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you guys would subscribe and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Please like, share, subscribe my channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.